Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Boy Lou here. Thank you for tuning in. This video, I'm going to be showing you how to merge an Avenger. Okay, so it is a car to Avenger merge. So let's get straight into it. The requirements, you do need a nightclub uh, and a facility. Those are the two main things that we're, we're going to be using. In the nightclub, you need to have it full of vehicles. It doesn't matter if they're modern or not. Make sure it is full. In the second garage, in B2, you're going to have a special type of bike that you do not own, that you know it's one of a kind, and you're gonna remember the name, you know? Okay, so that's what you're gonna need in B2. In B4, you're gonna have it maxed out with vehicles as well. And in B4, you're gonna have the donor car, which is the car that you're gonna be taking all the mods from and merging onto the Avenger, okay? In your facility, you're gonna need all the vehicles to be maxed out in there as well, so all of the slots to be taken with a car you're also going to need, obviously, the Avenger, and you're going to need Act 2, which is the Bogdan Heist, okay? So it's going to be the finale of the Bogdan Heist, which is Act 2. So once you got all those requirements, let's go ahead and get set up real quick. And then um, go ahead and come back to this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do all that good stuff, because this is a good video right here to how to merge your Avenger. And it is working on Xbox and PS4, all right? All right, so first step, yeah, we called out a car that starts with the letter T. Okay, that's gonna be used for later, so we could call out our terabyte quicker. Okay, so we're at the Bogdan Heist screen right here. Um, this is the old pause, me pause menu method way on how to get glitched out here at the facility. If you don't know how to do it, we're gonna be holding the pause button. As soon as you let go, we're gonna spam A, okay, to accept the job. Not spam it, you know, just hit it once real hard. It has to be a good, you know, tap. So the job could click through. You're gonna hear a click in the background. If you hear that click and you go to job, so you're gonna press pause, go online, go to jobs, and we're gonna start up time of a job, okay? If you have uh, trouble in the beginning getting to time of a job, like, like if it glitches, if you spam A and it doesn't do nothing, that means you probably hit it, okay? You also know you hit it is when you load up right here, you're gonna buy one friend, and on the top, it says time of a job. Um, no, it doesn't say time of a job. The time of a job is gonna be used in the back. It should say Gerald on top. So uh, it's gonna be the Bogdan heist, and it's gonna be Gerald on top. It usually it says Lester. If you see Gerald on top, that means you hit that part of the glitch. So all we gotta do, like I said, is hold pause, release it, and accept the job. So you're gonna be calling Gerald for a job. Once it, it pops up in your phone, pull up the job to the last page, hold pause, release pause, tap A to accept the, the job, okay? After that, the, pop, the pause menu should be open. Then you're gonna go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, go to missions, and start up Titan of a job. Once you start up Titan of a job, as soon as you launch Titan of a job, you're gonna spam right on D-pad, okay? Really big thing I forgot to mention, you're gonna be spamming right on D-pad all the way through once you start up Titan of a job, okay? So once you get all that part done and your friend joins you, you're gonna click uh, play, okay? And then once you click play, it's gonna, um, it should give you a list before you do that on what vehicles you should call out. So you're gonna be in the section where the T's are at. So since you're in the section where the T's are at, if you scroll to the right or left, you're gonna find the terabyte, okay? If you have like more than one terabyte, just click on the first terabyte that doesn't have a number, all right? So it's gonna be terabyte one, two, three, like that if you have more than one. Once you click the terabyte, um, do not click uh, play you're gonna let it go by the timer so the timer is gonna run out and it's so it's gonna uh, play by itself okay so the heist is gonna like launch on its own all right so once it does all that you're gonna be in a submarine all glitched out go ahead and tell your friend that's helping you out to go ahead and exit out of that mission so he's gonna pull up his phone go to the middle job he's gonna press X and he's gonna press a to quit out on that job it should give you a fail alert like it did right there and then just gonna go ahead and uh, let it play out. Do not click nothing on the first uh, menu. And then once you go to the second menu that says replay and gives you all other types of missions to play, you are gonna go ahead and press B and then A. So you're gonna quit out of that mission as well or quit out of that replay mission uh, menu. And it should put you right here in Mount Chiliad, all right? Once you're at Mount Chiliad, we are gonna be job teleporting. 
So if you don't know how to check if someone's in a different targeting mode, you go ahead and go to press pause and then go to friends, go down the list. And uh, once you go down the list, go ahead and click on the person and you're going to hit join game. Once you back out of the, the uh, this alert and your menu drops, that means that person's in the same targeting mode. So if you go down the list and go to another person, hit join game and uh, the menu stays open like the pause menu stays open that means they're in a different targeting mode and you can go ahead and use that person to job teleport okay so to get the different targeting mode alerts so i think i found one all you got to do is go to their profile on xbox and go ahead and join their game or you can go ahead and join them from here but we're going to be launching that job first so we can job teleport so as you can see right there the menu does drop that means they are not in a different targeting mode so this is just a quick little tip um, in case you need to because it does take a while to get out of this mountain and you don't want to go ahead and kill yourself or nothing like that. I don't know if you get unglished. Um, I don't really think so because we're swapping sessions and stuff like that. But just in case, um, this is how you could uh, change your targeting mode or bounce off of people. the best mechanic in LS do for you. You have any problem?
problems, you bring her back to me. Through to your garage, you uh, need me to bring you a ride? All right, so the next part of the glitch, you're going to be requesting a vehicle that starts with the letter A. Okay, so this one, so it could be closer to Avenger when we call out the Avenger on that list. You could just scroll uh, to the right or left and you could find Avenger really fast because we called out a car that starts with the letter A. Okay, so uh, APC works. Uh, the apocalypse, anything in the apocalypse, any of those cars with the letter A that starts with letter A, you can go ahead and call out for the next part of the glitch. Once you do that, you just go ahead and go to the facility one more time. All right, so go ahead and put your spawn location to the facility. Go ahead and change your outfit to force it to save. And we are going to be going into creator mode and making another session okay you go to another public session it's okay we're going to be loading up right here at the facility make sure you're registered as a ceo and once again we're going to be doing the job uh, the job thing right here so request a job from gerald or simeon i think simeon works too and once that job pops up we're going to be opening it let me just go ahead and call gerald and request a job from him once the alert pops up from his job, go ahead and open it. And uh, once you open it, you're going to click it once, so you'll be at the last page. Right on. I'll send you All right. So as you can see, I have a APC out. The APC obviously starts with the letter A. It's already out on the map. I already got my friend coming into this lobby, so I could just go ahead and invite him. I'm going to go ahead and open up that job to the last page. Click it once. I'm going to be holding pause, releasing it, and accepting that job really fast. All right. So right there, I accepted it too fast, and that is what happens when you uh, accept the job too fast, all right? It doesn't give you time to open up that pause menu. So back out of that, no problem. All we gotta do is do it again, open it up to the last page, hold pause, release it, and accept that job. If you have trouble going into the job section right there in the beginning, like you saw right there, it, it takes you about three or four times to hit A to actually go into jobs, that means you hit it, okay? And, uh. You know, you really hit it as it loads up. It's going to be Gerald on top, not Lester. So it says right there, the Bogdan problem, Gerald. I'm going to go ahead and invite my friend. These are the same steps as we did earlier, okay? The same steps. Go ahead and invite your friend in. Once your friend loads up, it's going to give you another list. On the vehicle list, go ahead and swipe uh, either left or right. And go ahead and find your Avenger really quickly. I think it's going to give you about a minute to find your vehicle all right once you do find your avenger let the time play out so if you have 20 seconds just go ahead and leave the timer running and let the job launch on its own like we did earlier All right, so we got our friend in the mission. Let's go ahead and click on the Avenger. Go down to the vehicle list, either right or left, until you find the Avenger. Go ahead and go down to ready to play. Stay right here. Do not accept it. Let the timer run out on its own, okay?
all right once it runs out on its own it's gonna give you it's gonna uh, put you into a glitched out uh, submarine right here once you are like this go ahead and tell your friend that's helping you to back out of the job so he's gonna pull up his phone go to the middle job press x and a to accept the quitting out of this uh job right here so it's gonna say you failed that is what we're looking for it's gonna give you a little bit of money and rp all right it's gonna uh, pull up to this menu go ahead and let the timer run out on here as well once the timer runs out it's going to bring you to a second menu from there you go ahead and press b and a to back out just quit out of that other menu and then it's going to bring you to mount chiliad with an invisible avenger okay So we are here right at uh, Mount Chiliad. All I'm going to be doing right here is job teleporting right to a job that's closest to my facility. So I can go ahead and go into my facility. Once I do job teleport and land at that job by my facility, all I'm going to do is be calling one car that I don't mind losing. I'm just going to be calling a Future Shock Issy because I have a bunch of those. And um, I don't think you lose it. I think you just use it to replace another vehicle by the facility. I mean, that's uh, stored inside the facility. So that's all we gotta do. We're gonna job teleport here to the facility. And then I'm gonna be calling one vehicle. Make sure your facility is full of vehicles. It's gonna give you a full alert. Go ahead and accept that. And it's gonna bring that vehicle that you called from any random garage inside the facility. So if you do have a modern Avenger, your Avenger will turn stock. But that is okay because we are going to be making a brand new one okay so i had a modern avenger before and as you can see it turned stock all we got to do right here is replace one of the vehicles i'm just going to be replacing this elegy right here and then we are good to go so after you do replace it all we got to do is hop into the avenger go ahead and click right on d-pad if it doesn't let you hit right on d-pad all you got to do is take the take that vehicle that vehicle that you came in there with go ahead and bring it back outside and once you do that come back in and it should let you click right on d-pad on the avenger and after you do click right on d-pad all you got to do is change up one thing up on it all right and that's all you got to do from there just go ahead and uh, exit outside All right, from here, go ahead and set your spawn location to the nightclub. Go ahead and change up your your clothing so it could force save it. And we are going to be uh, choosing Franklin to go into story mode and coming back to another invite only session. You should spawn at the nightclub and we are in B2. As you can see, we have a terabyte in B2. That is our terabyte. We're going to be getting in it and simply pressing right on D-pad and we're going to pull up the list. Go ahead and change up one thing up on it. Okay, after that, go ahead and exit the vehicle. And let's go ahead and go this way. And I think we're going to be going outside. Okay, so once we do go outside, I'm going to be showing you what to do. All right, so once it loads you outside, you're going to be calling your mechanic. Go ahead and call up that terabyte that we just uh, changed up one thing up on it. Or I think you just go ahead and click request personal vehicle and the terabyte will spawn. So we could do that right there. Hit your interaction menu button. Go ahead and go to vehicles request personal vehicle and the terabyte should spawn up once you do that all you got to do is take that terabyte and uh we're going to be replacing the donor car which is the car that we're going to be taking all of the mods off of the paint job the rims everything the plate i don't know if the avenger has plate but we're going to be taking all the mods off of it so yeah it's going to look really good uh, make sure you got like a livery on that vehicle that vehicle as well so it can have a nice livery on the Avenger so let's go ahead and get in our personal vehicle which is our terabyte and we're gonna be driving into B4 this time okay B4 in your nightclub 
make sure you got that donor vehicle in there that we're going to be losing um, I did forget to tell you that you do lose this vehicle so go ahead and duplicate it or give it to one friend and have him give it back to you if you do not want to lose this car okay so we're going to be replacing that donor vehicle for me is going to be this cream on cream barrage that I got right here with a little nice livery that I got on it so that's what I'm going to be choosing uh, it's up to you whatever you want to choose to have on your Avenger and then there is that give Avenger to friends glitch uh, it's quite tricky to hit it but if you know how to do that it works per <clears throat> perfect with this glitch all right so we replaced that uh, the barrage for me is what I had chosen for the vehicle to be the donor vehicle that is why I replaced so after you do that simple just go outside and I'll let you know what to do from there From here, all we gotta do is job teleport back to the facility. And from here, all we gotta do is go check out our brand new modded Avenger, all right? All right, so from here, check it out. All we gotta do is go in here and boom, right there, our brand new modded Avenger. Yes, sir, let's get it. Make sure you're a subscriber. Make sure you have that post notification on. I do post some pretty good glitches. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to be posting more on the, on, the, on the daily if I can, like I used to. But that is how you make a brand new modded Avenger here on GTA 5 Online after all the patches and stuff like that. All right, so go ahead and change up one thing on your outfit so it's for save and just in case let's go ahead and hop in the avenger and change up one thing on, on it as well right so after you do have a modern avenger go ahead and open up your internet uh, go and buy any type of vehicle and put it in your facility okay But yeah, like I said, all you got to do is either change up one thing up on it, and that's it. All we got to do is go outside. Um, make sure to keep watching. I will tell you how to get your terabyte back into your uh, nightclub garage, because right now, it's invisible in your uh, terabyte garage. So right here, we job teleported back to the nightclub. As you can see, I got a terabyte in B2. Let's go ahead and go to an elegy, click a color, and go ahead and overwrite this uh, terabyte that's in garage level B2. 
So we overrided it. We now do not have it. That is good. That's part of the glitch. All right, let's continue. All right, so all I did right here was I stole a, a street car. I went outside the the nightclub. I stole a street car. I went and put it in Eclipse Towers. After I did that, I just brought it back over here to my nightclub entrance, and I'm going to go ahead and put a sticky bomb on it and blow it up. After you do that, all you got to go is uh, back inside your nightclub. Okay. Let's go to B2. And as you can see, uh, terabytes right here. Let's go ahead and uh, change up one thing up on it, I think. Just like that. Change up the armor. From there, uh, we're going to be exiting the garage, okay? All right, from here, all we got to do is change up our clothing to four, save it, put your spawn location to last location, go to creator, make another invite only session. And all we got to do is come back and check if our terabyte is in our uh, last garage, which is our terabyte garage. And if it is, there you go. You got your terabyte slot back. Let's go ahead and check out this modern Avenger. But yeah, if you do have problems, make sure to comment down below. I'll try to be uh, helping everybody out. And there it is, brand new Modern Avenger here on GTA Online. Yeah, let's go, all right? So yeah, that's how you make a brand new Modern Avenger. Make sure you subscribe, drop a like for this one. See y'all in the next one, peace.